option b answer coelentrata then third one which one of the following pair pairs is not a poikilothermic animal option a fishes and amphibians next fourth one identify the animal having four chambered heart option c crocodile fifth one the animal without skull is acrania option a acrania sixth one hermaphrodite organisms are option a hydra tapeworm earthworm amphibiopsis next seventh one poikilothermic organisms are option c fish frog lizard snake next eighth one air sacs and pneumatic bones are seen in option c bird ninth one excretory organ of tape worm is option a flame cells number 10th one water vascular system is found in option c starfish then roman letter 2 fill in the blanks first one the skeletal framework of porifera is spicules then second one sedentia or respiratory organs in mollusca then third one scales or dash fishes cartilaginous fishes fourth one the larvae of an amphibian is tadpole fifth one cyclotomes or jawless vertebrates sixth one placenta mata is the unique characteristic features of mammals Seventh one, spiny anterior is an example for dash mammals, egg-laying mammals. Next the third third Roman letter, state whether true or false. First one, camel system is seen in coelentrates. The answer is false. Second one, hermaphrodite animals have both male and female sex organs. Answer is true. third one tarantula or the respiratory organ of annelida answer is false fourth one bibinaria is the larva of mo- mollusca the answer is false fifth one balanoglossu is a ciliary feeder the answer is true sixth one fishes have two chambered heart the answer is true seventh one skin of reptilians are smooth and moist the answer is false next eighth one wings of birds are the modified four limbs the answer is true ninth one female mammals have mammary glands the answer is true next fourth roman letter match the following phylum adre examples first one coelentrata then answer hydra Platyhelminthes tapeworm, Echinodermata snail, Mollusca starfish. Then fifth Roman letter answer very briefly. First one define taxonomy. Take page number hundred and ninety nine. Page number hundred and ninety nine la fifth Roman letter answer. Last paragraph third line. Taxonomy is the science of classification which makes the study of wide variety of organisms easier. It helps us to understand the relationship among different groups of animals. Up to this fifth row, I'm letting the first question answer. Second question: What is nematocyte? Uh, page number two hundred and two. 
the tentacles bear stinging cells called snidoblast or nematocyte is where you go fifth room and the second question answer third question why Co-elentrates are called diploblastic animal. That answer is the answer. Why are you doing this? Co-elentrates are called diploblastic animals because they consist with two germ layers. Ectoderm, endoderm. That is the third question answer. Fourth question. List the respiratory organs of amphibians. Take 205. Hmm. In the paragraph, la, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th line. Uh, respiration is through gills, lungs, skin or bacco phrynix. This is the 4th question. 5th question answer. Then 5th uh, question. Uh, how does locomotion take place in starfish? Take page number 204. 204 la uh, the paragraph la last la third line locomotion occurs by tube feet is that right? fifth question fifth row la fifth question answer sixth question are jellyfish and starfish similar to fishes give reasons answer no jellyfish and starfish are not similar to fishes because jellyfish belongs to uh, knitted Cnidarians, starfish belongs to Echinodermata. The fishes belong to the class fishes. Next is seventh question. Why are frogs said to be amphibians? Take page number two hundred and five. The amphibian paragraph la is learned. These are the first four legged tetrapods. The vertebrates and regla is the cut panita. Frogs are consist with dual adaptation to live in both land and water. So they are called amphibians. Fifth Roman letter, seventh question answer. Next sixth Roman letter. Answer briefly. First one. Give an account on phylum Anglida. Take page number 203. The phylum and leader segmented worms la in the paragraph full la. These were bilaterally uh, symmetrical triploblastic first true co element animals with organ system grade of organization. Body is externally divided into segments called metamers joined by ring like structures called annuli. It is covered by moist Thin cuticle, uh, cetac and uh, parapodia or locomotor organs. Sexes may be separated or united. Hermaphrodites, example, Nerais earthworm leech. It was the sixth Roman letter, la first question answer. Second question, differentiate between flatworms and roundworms. Answer, flatworm and roundworm differentiate panikanga. First point platform. The platforms comes under phylum uh, Flatihelminthes. Then round worm the round worms comes under phylum Hematoda. Second point uh, platforms have a dorosoventrally flattened body. Then round worm have cylindrical body with tapering at one end. Next point, flat worm do not have cuticle. Round worms have an outer covering called cuticle. Flat worms are parasitic in nature. Round worm live in either on water or in soil. Third question, outline the flow chart of phylum crodata. Page number 206. 206 page number at the end. Like classification of phylum crodata. Alone the phylum chordata uh, subphylum Eurochrodata example axidian subphylum cephalochloridata example ampibioxus subphylum vertebrata vertebrates without jaws 
class uh, uh, next one vertebrates with jaws Alla, vertebrates with jaws la, class cyclo cyclostomata example lamprey hangfish vandhi, vertebrates with jaws vandhi, class pistures example shark mullet class amphibia example frog toad class reptila example lizard snake class apes example pigeon ostrich class mammalia example rabbit man is work your sixth row letter third question answer fourth one list five characteristic features of fishes take page number 205 and the last paragraph 205 la fishes are poikilothermic is work your letter and next one the the stem the streamlined uh, body is divided divisible into head trunk and tail there is point next point locomotion is by paired and median fins there is point next point their body is covered with scales next point respiration is through gills at the point, the heart is too chambered with a auricle and a ventricle. It is the sixth Roman letter, la fourth question answer. Fifth question Comment on the aquatic and terrestrial habits of amphibians. It is answer. First point Transition from aquatic to terrestrial living is clearly indicated in amphibians. Second point, they are the first vertebrates to live on land. Third point, amphibians have dual adaptation to living in aquatic and land environments. Fourth point, the double life is called amphibious. Fifth point, in frogs, the hind limbs have webbed feet. Then sixth question, how are the limbs of the bird adopted for avian life? Take page number 206. Class Aves and the, and the paragraph la 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th line la 4 limbs are modified into wings for flight. Next, hind limbs are adapted for walking, perching or swimming. 6th Roman letter la 6th question answer. Next, 7th Roman letter answer in detail. First one, describe the characteristic features of different uh, Porchoro dates. Porchoro dates la page number 204 and 205. The Porchoro date, uh, the 204 la Porchoro date in the paragraph la. Uh, the the Porchoro dates are considered as the forerunners of vertebrates based on the nature of the notochord. Next, Procrodata is classified into subphylum. Eurochrodata and subphylum uh, sepochlorochrodata. Next one the subphylum Eurochrodata. And the paragraph la notochord is present only in the tail region of free living larva. Adults are um, sessile forms and mostly de degenerate. The body is covered with a tunic or test. Example axidian. Next is subphylum uh, Seploclorida. Subphylum Seploclorida. Seploclorida dates are small fish like marine chordates with unpaired dorsal fins. The notochord extends throughout the entire length of the body. Example, Ampioxus. It's very good first detail or answer. Second question. Give an account on phylum arthropoda. Take page number 203. 203 is the last one. Phylum arthropoda. Animals with jointed legs. Arthropoda is the largest phylum of the animal kingdom. It's very good one point. In the, the point, point, point. They are bilaterally uh, symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animals the very good point next point the body is divisible into head thorax and abdomen next point like each 
thoracic uh, segments bear spared joint legs. Next point, the exoskeleton is made of uh, chitin and is shed periodically as the animal grows. Next point, the casting of and regrowing of exoskeleton is called molding. Body cavity is filled with hemolymphs. Blood. Point. Next point. The blood does not flow in blood vessels and circulates throughout the body. Open circulatory system. Point. Second point. Uh, next point. Respiration is through body surface. Gills or tachia air tubes. Next point. Excretion occurs by malphigian tubules or green glands. Sexes are separate. Your point, at the point like example, prawn, crab, cockroach, milpida, and centipedes, spider, scorpion. Second detail answer, seventh Roman letter.